as you all know that uh, we have been linked by a review meeting on industry internship uh, we hope that all of you have by a large you have completed your some uh, your internship industry internship what we call it as this time and uh, the procedure is that after completing your internship now you have to submit a report to the department and after the submission of the report you have to present your work this is a usual procedure this exercise is to evaluate your uh, uh, you know internship which you have did which you have done uh, during the period which has already been mentioned to you now uh, uh, ma'am if you allow me then i will start telling them about the report writing yes yes so uh, uh, if i can just ji ma'am uh, please come in uh, so as uh, asif sir uh, just informed you that this uh, the purpose of this meeting was to brief you on what exactly uh, are the steps now post your internship all of you are already familiar with the process the the sops and everything have been shared with you and it's there on the website and you know it in the first year you must have um, uh, you know attended the summer training presentations so once you are over with your uh, this internship you are supposed to uh, submit a report of the internship and present and this is as you all know it is evaluated out of 100 marks so it's like one four credit paper for you Uh, so it, of course we expect that you know this has to be taken up with all seriousness and all sincerity from on your part um uh, i would also request uh, the um, tpo members who are there in the group to please uh, collect um, information on uh, how many students if if at all if somebody is still left to complete the training i don't believe that anybody should be left but still if somebody is left and yet to complete the training we have to have that information with us because uh, uh, in the next 10 days as if i think in the next 10 days they have to submit their reports and uh, subsequent to that in the next week after that you will be having your presentations so we have uh, we, we assume that all of you have completed your internship but by the way if somebody is still left you have to please inform us okay so Uh, today we'll be sharing with you the guidelines because the first thing is submission of report so we thought that maybe we can share some you know basic guidelines on what exactly is expected in a report um after you submit your report then we will have the presentation so presentation related guidelines we can share later but in this session we will only share mainly the guidelines related to the report how to write the report and what all we expect in the report now again uh you must be already familiar you know with the fact that once you have done a project you have have to write a report and whatever you have done is basically what you have to write uh, so you already know uh, what exactly is expected but just to you know clarify things we are here uh, so i think asif sir will brief you on the basic structure of the report and then some basic guidelines i will also share and uh, so this is step 1 submission of report and then step 2 which is presentation we will discuss later So Asif, will you like to sh share a presentation or something? Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes. Ma okay, please. I go would ahead. like to share my presentation. Right. So, okay, ma'am. So I will share my presentation with all of you, and then we will discuss. I think my slides are visible to all of you now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So, uh, Asif, put it on the slide share okay. mode. Is this now visible to all of you? No, sir. Yes, sir. Then, sir, on Google Meet, you have to share the whole screen. Then only slide show. Uh, okay. uh, what I will do? Uh, what I will do? I will just increase the size. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay now. Yeah. Okay. So, as ma'am has already briefed you, that the first part of the evaluation is stage one. Uh, the stage one is the submission of the written report. Right. Uh, this report. is a brief summary of uh, the the in, the project that you have completed during your internship so uh, although this is not the first time that you are uh, you know uh, preparing a report maybe in the paper of business communication uh, your teachers have already briefed you about the basic structure of report but because uh, this is an industry internship report so we wish that we will share a format with all of you right and uh, you just see 
my guideline and then after that after the, uh, the, the after the presentation you are allowed to seek clarification or if you have any question you may please raise that question right so i'm quickly moving towards the basic layout of the report uh dear students this is the basic structure of the report as you all know where the first page is the title page i will show you one sample title page of the report that will clarify what exactly we are looking for in the title page then after the title page we have the table of contents which uh, which is a summary of what is uh, there in the report then every report comprises of some tables and figures all these tables and figures are properly numbered and this this uh, the summary of that number is presented in the form of list of tables and figures so that is also a part of the report uh, structure then we have the acknowledgement as you all know that uh, you have uh, uh, you have done this training under the supervision of one supervisor and the organization so definitely you should have some acknowledgement so we have uh, a letter of acknowledgement which is attached with the report then this is an, a very important thing certificate this is the original certificate uh, which has been given to you by the organization in which you have completed your training then the summary of the of the entire report which we call it as executive summary right sometimes we call it as preface also sometimes we call it as executive summary for report we use the word executive summary which is the brief overview of the entire work. then starts the main body of the work and the main body of the work is presented in the form of various chapters or units that scheme we call it as chapterization starting from chapter 1 to chapter 6 or 7 i will brief you about this chapterization and then we have uh, the the annexures and appendices which we have which we included the last part of the report and which is followed by the bibliography and the references this these are some of the main content of uh, the report uh, of intention now i would like to move to the first point the title page what the title page is all about now as you all know uh, the name itself give you an idea that the title page talks about the main title of the project then after we are looking for the name of the student with complete details of roll number and enrollment number uh, the qualification for the report is being means that this report is been submitted as a report of internship so this needs to be mentioned at the top of uh, you know the title page and then some like year of submission name, name and designation of the supervisor these things are uh, are required to be put in the title page so what i will do i'm just sharing a sample title page with all of you for your uh, reference you just have a look on this here see one title page which i am showing to you yes is this title page visible i'm just opening it yeah. is the title page visible to you or not no sir no sir no no sir. no page project for example the title of the project is country of origin and brand equity a study on select garments right and then we have submitted in the partial fulfillment this is the the which i am saying this is what the detail which you need to mention here your course if somebody is a student of masters in business administration or masters in international business or masters in islamic banking and finance or healthcare then under the supervision of the uh, you know here my name is mentioned but actually it is the name of the 
supervisor in which under which you have done your uh, training you have completed your training with complete designation right if he is suppose he is a senior manager and then that name of the student suppose this is the name of the student mohammad fazan tarif and then the name of the department so this is uh, a brief overview of what we are looking in a title page okay. i'm coming back to my presentation So this is the uh, what I I will move to the next part of the uh, report table of content. So if you remember the structure which I have discussed with you, first is the title page and then we have the table of contents. So as I have already discussed, that table of content is a, a summary of what is included in the report. So it includes the chapterization scheme. so this chapterization for example chapter chapterization that is chapter number 1 we have the introduction then chapter 2 the industry and the company profile then chapter 3 talks about the research methodology data analysis findings and conclusions suggestions or recommendations and then we have the references and the annex chapter so these are the chapters which you need to include in your report. just try to relate this content with a with a bit to the project that you have done what what type of introduction would you like to include into this then the profile of the industry and the company the content of the research methodology what type of analysis you have done and then out from that analysis what are the key findings and the conclusions you can take it out from here and then the key suggestions or the recommendation that you have put forth to the company and finally the referencing and the last part is the annex chapter this is the table of content that we have in the report now after that uh, definitely everybody is interested in knowing that what we need to include in the annex chapter in the appendices so uh, the point here is that those content which are not the part of the main body of the report you can include it here in appendices annex and in annex chapter generally a questionnaire if suppose it is a questionnaire based study that you can put a copy of the questionnaire as an annex chapter or any table or a chart or a map which you would like to put in support of the content of the main report then you can add it you can include it here in the annex chapter or if suppose you have a detailed long data file which is a an excel file or something else you can include that as an annex chapter rules and regulation and the log book i hope you remember the log book The, your daily routine the details which are there right so how many days you have completed your training and from each detail from each day uh, you know your timing of entering into the organization the timing of leaving the organization all this has been there and you need to include it as a part of appendix or the annex chapter with the report uh definitely an important component of the report is the referencing part the referencing as you all know is uh, the Uh, the introduction or the summary of the reference or the book or the report or any other material that you have used as a source of information and you know that we have the secondary sources which i am referring to right now for example i have given suppose you have taken something from a book and that book is written by a particular author for example l hall is a name the year of publication the name of the publisher right the edition number or if suppose it is not a book it is an industry report or suppose you have downloaded some document from the internet so whatever you have included in the report that needs to be uh, you know mentioned in the list of the references so this is one uh, referencing uh, pattern that you need to follow there are different ways of writing down your referencing but uh, generally we follow apa style of referencing i will show you an example of what is apa style of referencing that is also a part of the report then generally uh, we received lot of queries about report writing so i have what i have done i have put in some uh, you know frequently asked questions about the report like one very common question that we always uh, you know answered is the number of pages what is the ideal size of the report 
is it 40 page it is 50 page or 60 page this is one basic question that every student asks uh, before submitting the report then definitely we should have some guideline about the font size that is formatting part the line spacing how many copies you need to submit we received a lot of questions about the research methodology part suppose somebody have done its research based on secondary data so they are asking how to write methodology part for secondary data or if it is a primary data which is corrected with the help of a structured questionnaire how do we write the report uh, the methodology sometimes students believe that they don't have any methodology so what and how do we address all these types of question then another very important issue these days is that when you submit a document you have to cross check that what is the level of plagiarism how much uh, you know that is the measure of the originality how much you have prepared it and how much the content you have taken it from some other source so the level of plagiarism is a very very important issue and we also are looking for that so these are some of the important thing uh, which we have uh, you know in a you know in a in a report that you need to submit uh, as a part of your summer uh, as a part of your industry internship so uh, uh, this is all from my side about report writing once again i'm repeating that first is we have the uh, you know the structure of the report is like this one that we have the title page after the title page we have the table of content that we need to specify a, a list of tables and the figure the acknowledgement the original certificate the summary of the report then we talk about the main uh, body of the report in the form of various chapters finally the bibliography and the reference so uh, I think this is a brief snapshot of uh, what is there in the report writing part. I'm leaving you with this, uh, you know, some questions about the report writing. And uh, ma'am, uh, I think. Yeah, I think uh, fair enough. As if most of the things we have already covered, and uh, maybe if some some more guidelines that uh, you know I have with me, I can share just in case if something is missing out. So uh, I, I hope uh, it will be covered yes, through these guidelines. That. And we will share these guidelines and this PPT also we will share with you so that in case you want to refer back to this later. So you can always do that. Uh, so, uh, uh, <clears throat> okay. Ma'am, if you want to uh, brief them about the guideline of the report, like in the form, especially about the formatting point and the number so, of copies. Let me, let me share. I just have a simple word uh, document. Let me share it then. Yes, ma'am. Um, let's see. Uh, you please allow me to share. As if you'll have to close your presentation. I think you will have to close your presentation. It is saying that you are sh already sharing. OK, ma'am. I am closing my presentation. All right. You can see that. OK? Yes, ma'am. So uh, Asifsa has already discussed the contents of the report, and I will share this document with you. So uh, we have already discussed that you need to have a title page and then all these things, you know, declarations, acknowledgement, preface, and so on and so forth. Um, then uh, we may share one or two sample reports also with you. Uh, so if we have a few cop soft copies, we might share a few sample reports with you. So you can just refer to those sample reports and uh, you know just for identifying what all is required and the formatting details and all that so typically you know you know there is no um, hard and fast rule on the number of pages and all that but 50 to 60 pages is what we expect on an a4 size uh, page setting and normally because it's an it's a, it is supposed to be an official document so official documents must have you know a typical uh, you know the font styles and all formatting that is expected of an official document so normally times new roman or arial these are the more formal kinds of fonts that we expect 
in uh, so you may have for example times new roman 12 for the general body of the text for headings you may have a bigger font of something like 14 times new roman or maybe an arial 12 so that is typically what is normally expected in a, a report uh, one and a half uh, line spacing margins all those things we'll give you there is the, as, as i said no hard and fast rule but these are the standard rules for report writing you have to have a margin and all because when you get it bound so those margins will be anyway needed by the people who will bind your reports so this is the standard format that we follow then in the reports we usually have figures and documents uh, you know so the diagrams and the charts tables so all the charts and tables should be sequentially numbered and every table or chart or figure must have a title to indicate what that table is about so those are things that we expect if for example in the initial chapters we give some literature some secondary data so if you are taking a table from somewhere some book or some journal or some magazine you have to give the source of that table but in the later chapters when you give your own analysis so all the tables and charts are basically your own because you are describing your project and the work that you have done so there of course you don't have to give the source but you have to give the title of the you know table or the chart or figure exhibit whatever you are using uh then yes this is important that in some cases students may have done joint projects although normally that is not entertained we want everybody to do a separate project but in some cases the companies have a project of such nature that two students do a joint project so if you have done a joint project both the students will have to submit separate reports okay so it's not that you've done a joint project so you expect uh, one report both of you who have done a joint project will have to submit separate reports because even if it's a joint internship we expect that your assignments must be different the two students must be carrying out some different activities and they must be having some different experiences different findings different methodologies and approach of working and so on so Oh, the the students will have to submit separate reports with their own observations their own uh, you know discussions findings whatever because the experiences are always different they can't be exactly the same language will be different writing style will be different understanding of the concept will be different your learning will be different it can't be the same so please understand uh, that if even if it's a joint project your title may be the same and the certificate and all of course may be one because it is from one project but reports will be separate you have to write your own report because you get a separate mark sheet and you get separately evaluated you don't get joint mark sheets i i'm sure you understand what i'm trying to say so the reports have to be separate and you have to inform the office beforehand that you have a joint project uh so because that information we need at the time of presentation and all but whether it is report or presentation you are evaluated separately so no com common reports and combined presentations i mean we can have a presentation together but both of you will have to present so that is how we'll do the presentation we will discuss later then of course asif sir has already discussed that you must do exhaustive proofreading you know of the grammatical mistakes and all because the reports the um, the the hard copies of the reports are kept in the library for the you know the next batches who come and uh, you are mba students we expect that your reports must be written in you know good language without any uh, formatting and grammatical errors and mistakes and so extensive proof reading should be there we don't expect a copy paste kind of job you may take content from different sources but when you are taking content you have to paraphrase it you have to write it in your own language give the sources so it has to be properly written like a professionally done job okay something that we would normally expect from mba students so don't do a copy paste job you have to format it nicely uh, all the presentation in the report everything has to be done neatly and it should look good uh, appear nice it should be a professional report then as per the ugc rules all reports which are submitted in the university they have to have a no plagiarism you know they have to follow this no plagiarism rule uh, which means that you can't copy anything from any source any book journal or any other source you can refer to these sources take matter from there um give references and sources but you can't copy and the only similarity the index which is allowed is up to 10% uh so you have to please ensure that there is no 
you know, cut copy job in your report. Uh, initially, what we are doing is uh, we will announce the date of um, report submission, which is somewhere around, I think, uh, earlier it was 10th, but uh, it has been slightly extended. So it will be around 15th. We will, 15th. Yeah, yes, we will let you know. So by 15th of March, you have to submit soft copy of your complete report along with certificates. Soft copy of the report along with certificate at the TPO address, which will be provided to you. The complete report means it will have the title page, acknowledgement, everything. But the soft copy of the report will have to be submitted. Within the next week, next 10 days after that, we will have your presentations. During the presentation and before the presentation, we will provide you some guidelines on the presentation also. During the presentation, you will be evaluated by a panel of teachers who may ask you for some you know modifications in the report for example sometimes the language is very bad or the grammar or you know, there are a lot of issues sometimes there are there so the panel may ask you to modify correct make some changes so subsequent to that after incorporating the suggestions and modifications you will have to submit the hard copy of the report anyway we are meeting in the department hopefully after 15th of march so you will have to after the presentation, you will have to submit two hard copies of the report, which will along with the hard copy of the certificate. OK, so these are the rules that we have. And um, anyway, you can read this and I'll, I'll share this document later also. The report is evaluated out of 60 marks and the remo remaining 40 marks are awarded on the basis of the presentation. So I hope uh, this is clear. We'll, we'll share this later with you, but I think most of the things uh, should be clear. Uh, if you have any quick uh, questions, we can take that up. Otherwise, later, if you have any questions, you, you are most welcome to contact us. But I don't think, uh, I mean, there should be too many questions because everything has been clarified. But anyway, we are here. If you have any confusions, let us know. Kanishka, you want to say something? Yes, ma'am. Can we have some extension of time? Because... Uh, the offline classes are going to start from 15. So uh, the students who are far away from Aligarh, they will have a bit problem. Yes, ma'am. Many of us are traveling. Which the soft copy. So you may be, uh, I mean, even if you are not in Aligarh, you are required to submit the soft copy. And this is already an extended date. Uh, ma'am, can it be extended to... Ma'am, ma because we are traveling around that date, 15, before 15, we are traveling from far away places to Aligarh. That's why. Ma'am, still, we have a humble request to you. If you can, if it is possible to extend the date. Yeah, uh, this date has been finalized by the chairman. Actually, sir, Jamal, sir, had finalized 10th of March as the date. Uh, but because, you know, some the, this review meeting took some time, so we have already requested and extended this to 15. And uh, see, this is not a surprise where, you know, you're requesting for extension of dates and all. You already knew that once the semester starts, you will have to submit the report. In fact, many students uh, are required to submit reports when they are doing the training in the, in the companies itself. So many of you must have already prepared reports for your companies where you have done training. And you already yes. knew that you had to submit a report. Even before you went for training, we had briefed you that once you come back, you have to submit a report. So extend asking, you know, the first question you ask is, ma'am, extend the date. That's that's not a very good thing, actually. You know, we don't expect that all the time you just ask for extension of dates. You start writing and take it on a serious note. And as I said, this is not something that is coming to you as a surprise. You already knew that you know you will be having your summer training presentation report submission so this is a work that is already in progress it's not that you are starting afresh okay. i'm sorry ma'am but actually tomorrow i'm going out of the country for some business purposes for a week like so can it not be extended for some five days only no, i can, cannot extend because this is something which has been decided by the chairman uh, so uh, I mean, I, I I don't have the authority to extend. You probably may have to request uh, Jamal, sir. But that is what uh, we have been uh, informed that 15th should be the date for submission of report. And then after that, uh, the presentations will be scheduled. In March itself, we have to wind up all this with the other things lined up in the, um, you know, in the months later. Uh, so please start working on that, on, on the report writing. 
is there any other uh, query related to the report the writing of the report if you have queries related to that um, please let uh, us know because this is the purpose of this session right now so we are here for that we can only help you with the report writing part and the confusions you have regarding that Ma'am, if somebody has done the repetitive nature of work in the organization, like uh, project management, he has to do the repetitive nature of work, like uh, to manage all the things. So what he should do in the 40 pages, how he should extend the work, uh, should he include the uh, like uh, theoretical part of project management or what he should include? See, uh, see, normally what happens is that uh, I think Asif sir already told you about the structure. In the beginning of the report, we usually spend some pages on the on explaining the concept that you are studying some not very detailed but some basic idea of what concept for example if you're studying project management so maybe some basic literature on project management some recent studies on project management some recent developments which are taking place in the area of project management then of course we will expect a brief profile of the company the sector and the industry in which you have worked the nature of product services that they are catering to so those things are also there then we come down to typically, you know, uh, for example, if you have done a primary data based uh, questionnaire or something has been used. So then maybe you uh, can, you know, explain that concept of what are the constructs on which the questionnaire has been based and all that. So some literature review and all is done in those kinds of studies. Uh, then methodology. That is a very important chapter. You know, every project, whether it is based on primary data or it is based on project management or it's a marketing project anything that you have done there is always an objective of that project what was the purpose of doing that project what was the objective what was the need of the study what was the methodology like what methods you followed what process you followed did you collect secondary data did you collect primary data did you have a questionnaire did you do interviews or if not then what whatever you have done there is always a methodology so we expect in the research methodology chapter you will explain all that you know the steps of how you did and all those things then we come to the main chapter which is your uh, the work that you have done so whatever you have done you have to explain that whether it is in the form of uh, some data that you have collected some pie charts or graphs or flow charts or any sequential steps any activity that you have done two months you know that's a long time for you know carrying out a project and we expect that every day you have done something so we want to know what you have done, what you have learned, what was your contribution, what kind of data you collected, what kind of activities you were involved in. So try to read some uh, summer training reports also. We'll share one or two with you. And uh, otherwise also you can obviously, you know, get a lot of summer training reports uh, from the internet also. And just to get an idea of how summer training reports are written, not that, to, you know, to copy from there, but to get an idea. Uh, so so the, this chapter will contain a detail of your entire work. And then after that, we usually have a last chapter, which contains the findings and conclusions of whatever you did, the summarized findings and conclusions, and uh, maybe some discussion if you want to do your learnings and contribution, the limitations of the study, in the future, what research directions you want to suggest if somebody wants to carry out that same study in the future, mm -hmm. what uh, you know future directions you want to suggest. So that is what we have in the last chapter after which we have references and then maybe some appendices in where you can attach your questionnaire and other related documents anything any anything that you have referred to in the company which you want to share so it typically amounts to 40 50 pages i mean there is no hard and fast rule of having a 50 page report or something but it, it, if you have all these things it will typically run to 40 pages 45 pages 50 pages okay also okay, from, uh, like some of uh, yeah, some of us have done some uh, internships like on overall management sort of thing, but uh, we also have one specific topic too. So should we include that overall management also like I did on uh, the medical camps, yeah. but I also did the overall management stuff. Yes, yes. You include everything, Kanishka, whatever you have done, because see, we understand that the, in the last two years, summer trainings or internships have not been the way they used to be earlier because of the pandemic you know many of you have done trainings online and in in a lot of cases trainings were affected by a lot of things you know personal factors professional reasons the companies were also in a disarray so the projects were not very systematic and they were not uh, in a lot of cases they were not very methodical also 
so we understand those things i mean we also know the limitations we have faced and the kind of pressures we have faced this time and in what constraints you have done your training and let me share with you that we appreciate that all of you have you know done your trainings despite the kind of problems that you know all of us have been facing and the kind of pressures we have faced and the you know all the things that have happened around us so it has been a very difficult time and in that difficult time all of you have done an internship we appreciate that and we understand that there have been constraints there have been limitations so you know we also know those things but whatever you have done you have to produce that in the report because anyway you have to submit a report and we have to evaluate it that is the process so whatever you have done you have to produce it sometimes companies make you do two three projects some of you may have done two projects in the you know in 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 the company or two three projects produce that everything that you have done you write it there okay if you have done some process in you you have initiated something new or if you have modified a certain process in the company anywhere what whatever contributions you have done whatever things you have learned try to explain that in fact report writing is also an art how well you can explain what you have done let's see how you are able to write that so so everything has to be there you write down whatever you've done write it down Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Anything else? Yes. Any more questions? I think we are going to the department. We are otherwise also available through emails or whatever. Ma'am, is there any format for uh, producing our experience certificate? I'm sorry, I didn't get your question, Wahab. Ma'am, uh, is there any uh, uniformity in our uh, uh, company certificate, original company certificate? No, no, com companies have their own format. They all companies, you know, well-established companies, they have their own format of certificate, uh, in which uh, the your name will be there, the project that you have done will be there, the supervisor's name is there, the duration is there. So we expect at least these four things: your name, the name of the project, the title of the project, and. Uh, the supervisor's name and the duration and of course it is on the company letter head and companies have their own format uh, so we don't uh, dictate the format but yes this is what we expect your name has to be there the duration the title of the project and the supervisor and sometimes they have some appreciation appreciation for it, for the students they write something that is their choice but typically this is the standard you know th things that we expect but there is no format as such from our side because companies have their own formats Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, uh, I have a doubt. Ah, uh, bully. Yes, ma'am. Actually, ma'am, uh, I I was a part of the uh, U Fiber Edutech company, so they provided me an internship in the part of business development intern. So there was nothing as a specified, uh, like a project name or something. It was just a part of a training in the team of business development. So, uh. do because they didn't specify any of the name of the project as such in the certificate so what should be done now you are already you know making a presentation of your report and you say i have done nothing so we have to give you 100 marks what should i give you if you done i'm saying like uh, there was nothing like specified in the certificate they provided me as a under a project there was nothing specified as a project name so it's okay the, whatever work yeah. you have done that's what i'm saying different companies have different formats maybe some companies don't write the name of the project or something it's okay i mean you have still done some work you must have whatever business development or whatever work you have done yes, there must be some activity that you carried out in these two months i mean what did you yes. do in these two months you must have carried out some activity done something went somewhere i mean we expect that there is something that has been done that is why it's a, it's a project it's an internship so whatever is there you just give it a title get approval from okay. your supervisor you can talk to them that what title you should have and uh, that's it uh, uh, ma'am okay. uh, if uh, one has done two internship so uh, which one should he prepare the report the two internships means what in two different companies Uh, ma'am actually i have a joint internship with a part with my partner a joint internship and my partner has uh, at the same time done uh, internship in a different also company so at that time he has done two internships no are you are asking for yourself or for somebody else uh, for for him he is not available right now so, so i am asking so you have done you have done one internship right 
yes yes ma'am all of you have to do one internship you are evaluated on one internship only for a 6 week to 8 week internship if you have done two or three or whatever for us for the official purpose we need one internship for 6 weeks one okay. internship means one company has to certify that you've done a 6 weeks uh, training in in their organization i don't know about your friend what he has done uh, please either he has to brief us about the details only then i can answer but this is the process that you have to do an internship a 6 weeks to 8 weeks internship in a company that is the the what is there in the ordinance and what is we what we have to follow okay okay ma'am and we need a certificate for that but if there is something else then we have to see what exactly it is and what is the, what is this two companies and two internships i right now i am not able to understand but we'll have to see on a case to case basis what it is okay, okay so is that fine yes ma'am theek hai asif anything else so otherwise if uh, we can close and please start writing your reports and if you have any individual concerns or queries i mean i am there asif sir is there uh, other teachers are there in the department you can uh, talk to us we also have a i think it has been shared with you mentor mm-hmm. mentee thing also has started and you have that list with you now yes ma'am yes ma'am so when I mean, you i mean mentorship is not specifically for training but i'm sure your mentors can give you some input some guidance if you go to them so it's it's okay you can take our help i think ma'am uh, we have answered almost all questions now what we did what we did now ma'am we will pass on the powerpoint presentation yeah and the guidelines which you have just shared right right okay so can we wind up this meeting now okay So, ma'am, thank you very much for your. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, all of you, thank and you, all sir. the best. Thank you, and, sir. Thank uh, you, ma'am. We hope you do a good job and come up with good presentations and good reports. Okay. And we all, we all faculty members are available in the department. In case if you have any doubt, any query, uh, you are allowed to uh, to contact. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Ma'am. Thank you.